right, my review of Marie's. This is going to be part one because I'm only halfway through the week and I'm sure I'll have a couple of more bits to report over the next couple of days. But yeah, um, where shall I start? I'll start with the uh, with the negatives because there's quite a lot compared to the positives. Um, literally, when I first got here, she went, oh my God, you have a beard. Now, just to clear this up, this beard is is not really optional because I don't have a razor with me and... Um, and it has been snowing and it is cold, so, you know, it's the wise thing to have a beard, especially when you're cyclo camping. And um, all she's gone on about every day is this beard. And it's got to the point now, she was friendly about it the first, well, I say friendly-ish. You know, she just told me that I was ugly, nothing too bad. But now it's got to the point where she's like, she turns her head to the side when she's talking to me because she can't look at it. And then the minute I start, like, chatting to her, she'll get up and go, oh, I just can't look at it, it's so ugly. And um, then I got changed <laughs> into my jogging suit. Cause that's what I bought. I bought trackies, a hoodie and a uh, jogger suit. And then she was like, oh, you are the sporty type. And after she said these two things, she starts going on about, you know, um, Arabs in France. Now, I, I don't have any problem with any other race, but she seems to have a really big problem with the Arabs because apparently they all, they all drug deal and they, you know, the police don't do anything and they're all thieves and they're all rude and arrogant and blah, blah blah this and it's funny that when I looked at them they too have a beard and they too wear all the sports gear so I think this like negative vibe that she's got in her mind is um, she's stereotyping me as an Arab so she obviously has really bad views of Arabs because she goes on about them all the time so because of that she's shown a very negative light to me and she's basically just been like really out of order all the time and that you know and um she was criticising me this morning for not being very fun. Now, admittedly, it takes me a month to get used to someone before I can sit there and have, like, a really good laugh. But I do make an effort, you know. I'll walk in and be like, morning, how are you? And I'll have a little bit of a chat. But yesterday, she goes, ah, oh, so were you educated in Jersey? And I was like, yeah, educated there. And I started telling her what I'd done since I left secondary. And she got up and stormed away from the table, going, oh, I just can't look at you, you're so ugly and all this. And then this morning turns around to me, first thing in the morning goes oh you know at least with the other help exes I have fun in that and I'm just thinking to myself I was like you know I was trying to like tell you about my life my education and that and then you, you're running away because I've got a beard so she's basically just putting everything around this beard but it's just she's just mental man you know like, I don't know if you see my video about the garage or anything yesterday but you know she's OCD hoarder and she'll tell you everything 20 times like she'll go turn that light off right now somebody tells me once to turn the light off I will remember to turn the light off but then she will watch me do it and have my finger on it. She'll be like, turn that light off. So I'll do it. Shut the door as I'm doing it. Then I'll record, did you turn the light off? Did you shut the door? Don't forget to turn it now. I'm walking back that way. Don't forget to do shit. And I, I'm going, yeah, I know you've told me. But she considers that back chat. When I'm just going, yeah, you've told me three times. You've told me four times. You've told me ten times. You know, she thinks it's back chat, which it isn't. It's just me confirming that I already know. And then this morning, like, first thing this morning, I couldn't believe it, man. I woke up, went in the kitchen, just kicked off straight away about all these things, saying that I've, I've got no manners and I'm impolite and I should be apologising for what I've, what, I've, what I've broken or messed up. And I go, well, what, is there something wrong with my work? And she goes, no, 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 your work's fine. And I was like, well, what do you mean? She goes, like, you should, you should be apologising for forgetting to um, turn the light off or for lock it, locking the door. She was going out. <laughs> I'll get onto that in a sec. Anyway, she wanted to lock the door, so I locked it. And then she goes, oh, I never locked this door. You see, you never listen. She never told me, you know, but it's the same thing over and over. She's, she'll either not tell you and then wait until you do it and then tell you, or she'll tell you as you're doing it. And then when you say, I know, she thinks you should be apologising for back chatting or apologising for doing what she hasn't told you to do, if you know what I mean. Just crazy. But anyway, as now that I'm talking about being locking the door... She goes to me, she goes, oh, would you like to come to Montalban? And I went, yeah, actually, yeah, I'll go and have a look around. She goes, you can't come dressed like that. This is me in, like, clean joggers. I look fine. You know, she goes, oh, yeah, you can't come like that. You'll have to um, borrow some of my clothes. And I went, all right, well, I'll, I'll just stay around here. She goes, okay, well, I'm going to lock the door. I went, yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to float around. She goes, well, what are you going to do? I'm going to be gone till five. This is three hours. And I was like, well, I was just going to hang around. She's like, no, no, what are you, you going to do? I can drop you to the town if you want. Oh, I was just going to listen to music and you know in my room. No, 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 you have to be out the house. You're kicking me out the house. I'm here to like you know be hosted, <laughs> and she's like treating me like you've got to get out of the house. It's just oh, it's just mental. It's just constant insults, insulting my looks, insulting my intelligence, you know. And I just oh, it's just mental. 
So yeah, so basically I went down to the neighbours and I just sat with them for three hours, you know, and had drank tea, which was fine. Come back, um, and um, I, on the reviews everyone's like, oh, she does really nice cooking. And even the neighbours said, oh, have you tried her cooking? It's really nice. But I've just been given, like, you know, cheese and ham toasties that are already already made. They're out of a packet and just put in the grill for five minutes and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, why am I being so ill-treated? You know, I'm, d I'm getting up on time. I'm doing four or five hours worth of work for her and um, I'm being treated like absolute shit. But every every time she always comes back to the fact that I'm wearing sports gear and I've got a beard on and she's always kicking off about these Arabs. But I don't see the problem, you know. I don't see an immediate problem with anyone around here. But I just can't believe it, man. <laughs> You know, this is going to go on this video for a bit, but it's worth watching if you're planning on planning on coming here. Um, yeah, and then just loads of little bits, you know, like I'll, I'll say, right, I'm going to bed, and she'll say, good, you know, and then she'll, like yesterday, she served herself food, and I said, oh, can I get some more? And she went, no. And I went, what do you mean, no? And she went, um, you've got to get it yourself. And I was like, well, yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going to do. You're not my slave. And she goes, yeah, but I feel like it. What do you mean you feel you feel like she feels like she's my slave i don't she didn't do anything for me and oh, just keep i can keep going i'm gonna keep going actually because i need to vent but um yeah, there's this thing with the washing machine as well where um it didn't clip in properly so it didn't run and then she was telling me just to hang my these are soaked and covered in soap and i said look they, they haven't ran properly she goes oh that's because you because you ran it at 30 and i was like yeah it's better for the environment she goes i know you need to run it at 40 here ran it again it was successful and then this small and she was kept on going on about i told you you they can't run at 30 i told you, you can't run at 30 but i hadn't told her that it's because the thing didn't click down properly so i told her this morning she goes oh so you're a liar as well and i was like i'm not a liar i said i was just testing to see how many times you would bring it up between when it happened and now and you brought it up like 10 times always got to be one better you know or always got to be right you know she's never wrong she's stuck in her ways man like even with my gloves she goes oh have you got your own gloves i went yeah she watched me put them on they're all they're they're like a you know six weeks old and i've been doing loads of stuff with them she goes oh mine are better than that that doesn't really matter they're gonna do the same thing they're gonna protect my hands mental man but yeah this morning was the uh turning point for me we just woke up and I just got an earful straight away for no reason whatsoever. You know, I mean, she's meant to be a host. You know, I'm, I'm coming in, I'm doing my part, getting up, doing work. I'm being nice, how are you doing, blah, blah, blah. And then she's just the complete opposite, you know, giving me shit food, kicking me out of the house when she's not in there. Stuff like that. But, yeah. Um, there's so much more stuff that's happened the last few days, but yeah, I'm forgetting it for now. But I'll tell you about this morning quickly. So after that little ruckus with her you know and i was just trying to prove my worth you know i was telling her you know just because i've got a beard you know i could have glasses i could have a skinhead i could have dreads i could be uh ginger blonde like dark haired it wouldn't matter i'd be the same person either way and she's going no 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 no, no. i don't like this you are ugly and she's like but um i have a job for you i want you to rake all the leaves underneath the trees now before I get, this is on another video there's three trees and she's pointing at the trees and i'm just nodding and then she's going you can see the trees you know what a tree is and i'm just like i'm not a, i'm not an idiot i you know one two three trees it's not hard okay blah, blah, blah. then there's a, a situation with the rakes you know i put them there i was like well they weren't there you have moved them the thing with her phone you know the, the screen on her phone froze what have you done to my phone I haven't touched your phone. No, it's just mental. <laughs> just mental. It's, it's mental. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's the uh, end of part one. Otherwise, I'll be here for another ten minutes, I reckon. So, um, I'll get back to you on Sunday because I'm leaving Sunday morning. And, actually, just quickly then, she goes to me this morning. She's like, is your knee all right? Yeah, my knee's fine. Good. When are you leaving? I said, two weeks for a joke. She's like, no, no, no. I was like, yeah, two weeks. She goes, no, no. You said Monday, Tuesday. And I go, all right. Well, I get the feeling you don't want me here, so I'll leave on Sunday. She goes, you'll leave when I tell you to. Really? <laughs> what have I done? What have I done that's bad? Nothing. Just because I've got a beard and I wear sports gear. Unreal. Proper stereotypical. OCD Marie, I call her. The hoarder. So yeah, like I said, if you're planning on coming here, then really you know, think about what I've said here, because it is like that. And make sure you read all her reviews, and don't ignore them either, like I have done. But anyway, end of part one. I'll get back to you soon.